quick slides out faster. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. We gotta find Porter. Go, Port! Go, Port! Go, Gray! Go, Gray! <laughs> Did Porter have a turn, Gray? Can you say hi, boys? Hi. <laughs> What's wrong, Porter? You want to read another book? Milk. You want milk? Um, oh, please, Mama. Please, Mama, can I have some milk? Yeah, I can get you some milk. Hi, guys. We are downstairs <laughs> in our basement playing. Porter's grumpy. He wants milk, so I need to go get him some. But... We are just hanging out. It's cold and dreary outside. It's supposed to rain all day. This morning, we went to a new indoor play place. <coughs> Lovely. Thanks for that. This is why I'm sick. We went to a new indoor play place. It's basically a showroom of a bunch of playground equipment that you can buy. And they let kids play on it. And... Um, it's like four dollars a person, so it was really cheap for like two hours. So it was perfect. So we tried it out, and the boys loved it. They also had trampolines that the boys could jump on, and so they had really they had a lot of fun. Um, so I took a couple of clips of that, so I'll and put that here. The boys loved it. We're back. We did nap time, which Porter doesn't seem to be taking as long of naps now that he's like in his big boy bed. So it's kind of a bummer. I think it contributes to his sassiness. And we're all sick. Um, the boys had it first, of course. Pretty sure Gray brought it home from preschool. And then Anthony got sick, and I thought I wasn't going to get it, and now I'm sick. I've been having a sore throat, sneezing all the time, runny nose. A lot of it, so, so happy about that. Gray is still on spring break. It's Thursday. It's dark down here. We need to turn the lights on. Gray's spring break is almost over. Basically is over because he doesn't usually have school on Fridays anyway, which is nice. So we made it and now we just have to make it through the weekend and then Gray will be back at school. And I'm going to get Porter some milk because he wants some. Okay, I got Porter some milk. I'm still very pregnant, very tired of being pregnant, not feeling the best because I'm sick and very pregnant. So that's not fun, but we're just kind of chilling. Um, my parents are going to come over later and give the boys haircuts, which is good because they desperately need it. And Anthony's going to go watch some March Madness with my brother-in-law. So he's doing that, but we're just kind of chilling. Not much is going on. <laughs> hey guys! Sorry for all the noises behind me. I'm making coffee and I'm doing laundry because Porter woke up super wet this morning. Need to wash all his bed sheets, which is good because fresh sheets are always nice. I just washed you know, the nice sheets this past weekend because Felix like threw up on them and it feels so nice when you go to bed in fresh sheets. Oh, I love it. If I didn't hate making the bed so much, I would do it like every day. <laughs> I still have to do it pretty often though. I am coming at you. It is Monday, March 27th. I don't even know what day it is. Grayson is 
off of spring break he's back to school he went back to school today so that was nice having that routine porter and i went to the library we did story time and played with all the toys that they had and read lots of books so that was fun anthony's at work today He's not here at home. He's actually in the office. And it's feeling like spring. It's the weather has finally turned. The grass I've noticed is like green, like it came back alive. I swear it's like all of a sudden one day it's just like boom, it's green. And all of a sudden I'm noticing like buds on the trees and giving me hope that winter is done. I mean, the first day of spring was like, what, a week ago, right? Because it was the 20th and today's the 27th. So things should be picking up, but man, it was so cold on Saturday a couple days ago. The wind was so bad, you couldn't even go outside. So, and then of course the very next day it was like high 50s and sunny and beautiful. So Ohio weather is still very much all over the place. But I am recording, I am super excited. I'm so excited. So if you've been following me and watching my videos, you know I'm pregnant. I'm very pregnant. I am about to be 39 weeks pregnant. Um, I'll be 39 weeks on Wednesday, today's Monday. So like two days away. And I am over this pregnancy and I wanna be induced. And last time I went to the doctor, I didn't get the best news they wanted. Well, originally they wanted to push my induction back to my due date, which would be April 5th and then i got them to begrudgingly say okay maybe we'll put you on the wait list on friday march 31st and then i was like okay i guess i'll just take what i can get well i got a call today while we were at the library and while porter was having a meltdown so he's screaming crying the whole time in the background it was just great lovely but uh they called me and said that they got me on the wait list to be induced for Thursday of this week. So that is the 30th. So please, uh, fingers crossed, give me all the good vibes, pray, whatever you can do, that they have room for me on Thursday at the hospital and I can go and get this baby out. Uh, I'm so hopeful that Thursday is the day. March 30th sounds like an awesome birthday. I really want this baby to be a March baby and I get two chances at it. If Thursday doesn't work out, then hopefully Friday they would have room for me. So, oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. I've been trying to get this baby to come out naturally. She's not budging. We went on a long walk, over a mile walk yesterday and then walked around a bunch of stores. Nothing. I've been bouncing on the ball. I've been doing the raspberry leaf tea. I've been pumping i've been doing everything and nothing is working i'm just gonna have to be induced and i'm fine with that it's much better to have it that way honestly because then you just plan it and then you can get the epidural whenever you want unlike my last one that what i wasn't induced i went into labor on my own and i took too long and didn't get the epidural in time so i am very excited that possibly thursday is the day i really really hope Thursday's the day. Apparently, it's just they'll call me if they have room Thursday morning and tell me when to come in. So either I get a call and I'm getting induced or I don't get a call and then I will have to wait another day. And I have no idea how probable it is that I will be induced because I'm on a wait list. And I don't know how long the wait list is. I don't know how many pregnant people there are around this time in this area. I have my hopefully last doctor's appointment tomorrow with the nurse practitioner. So I'm hoping to get a little more clarity on how likely it is that I will be induced on Thursday. But oh, this is just giving me hope. It's just making me so happy. So I texted my mom, my parents are on standby to watch the boys for us, and I texted Anthony, because obviously he's gonna have to take off work. As soon as the baby comes, he's taking three weeks off of his job. So Thursday might be the day. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. I'll vlog a little bit of the kids, so it's not just me talking in this vlog, but ah, oh, this is like the best news ever. Oh, I really hope that Thursday is the day. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. So I'll keep you updated. Look, the bulldozer. The bulldozer. This was my What color is that? Pink. Pink. This is my situation right now. I'm reading two books. Thanks, Mama. 
at once. This one. Baby girl's in the middle. This one. What color is that? Yellow. Flat in the gold with the gold. She's a little crazy, a little hectic. What color is that, Porter? Pink. Pink. Purple. Oh, purple. I can't keep up. This one.